எங்கள் சேனலில் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதவங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அண்ட் ஹிட் த பெல் பட்டன் ஃபார் மோர் அப்டேட் வெல்கம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபோட்டல் வைன் சி ஃபார் டு சி த டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபோட்டல் வைன் யூ ஹவ் டு நோ அபவுட் சம் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஹார்ட் ஸோ இந்த ஹார்ட் டியூப் த லோவர் போர்ஷன் இஸ் அதர்வைஸ் கால்டு சைனஸ் வினோசஸ் விச் இஸ் த வீனஸ் எண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஹார்ட் டியூப் அண்ட் இட் ரிசீவ்ஸ் த்ரீ செட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெயின்ஸ் In the middle portion, you will see one structure that is otherwise called as gut tube. So, around the gut tube, on either side of the gut tube, there are two sets of veins. These veins are otherwise called as vitelline veins. The vitelline veins are veins which are going to drain the wall of the yolk sac. So, yolk sac is already earlier embryonic life. Le, the part of the yolk sac is enter into the yolk sac. gut tube formation so and the yolk sac oda wall rendu varakudiya rendu vein ku per da right vitelline vein and the left vitelline vein then next to the vitelline veins another sets of veins are otherwise called as umbilical veins in the umbilical veins oda work enna they connect the placenta to the heart for circulation to the fetus for to give a oxygenated blood to the fetus then next to the umbilical vein another set of veins are otherwise called as cardinal veins so cardinal veins indradu they are the veins which are draining the body wall idla ipo suppose if this is the developing embryo abina this is the longitudinal axis this one is the anterior portion and this one is the posterior region so the vein which are draining the anterior part ku peru anterior cardinal vein posterior part ku peru posterior cardinal vein both the vein join to form the common cardinal vein that enter into the sinus venosus so the entire sinus venosus la me in the three sets of veins un drain aitirukku idilla nama paaka pora in the portal vein development edil irund develop aadu appadina in the vitelline veins la irund develop aaga podu so adanal ipo nama adha mattum paathukom which adalla appra nama inferior vein ke va and other sets of veins develop aagumbodhu paathukom in the both the right and the left vitelline vein oda லோவர் போர்ஷன் எடுத்துக்கும் போது இட் சரவுண்ட்ஸ் த டியோடினம் சென்ட்ரலி ஆக்சுவலாக வந்து டியோடினம் தான் இட்ஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கட் டியூப் விச் டெவலப்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் போத் த ஃபோர் கட் அண்ட் த மிட் கட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் த சென்ட்ரல் போர்ஷன் ஆன் எய்தர் சைட் ஆஃப் த டெவ் டியோடினம் யூ வில் ஹாவ் த ரைட் அண்ட் த லெஃப்ட் விட்டலைன் வெயின் இந்த லோவர் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தீஸ் விட்டலைன் வெயின்ஸ் தெர் இஸ் ஒன் அனஸ்டமோசிஸ் ஆக்சுவலாக போத் த வெயின்ஸ் ஆர் அனஸ்டமோஸ் வித் ஈச் அதர் இன் த்ரீ ரீஜன்ஸ் ஸோ ஒன் இஸ் இந்த அப்பர் பார்ட் அண்ட் அனதர் ஒன் இந்த லோவர் ரீஜன் அண்ட் த தேர்ட் ஒன் இந்த மிடில் ரீஜன் ஸோ டிபெண்டிங் அப்பான் த அனஸ்டமோசிஸ் ஃபார்மேஷன் இன் ரிலேஷன் டு த டியோடினம் அதாவது இஃப் த அனஸ்டமோசிஸ் anterior to the duodenum na that is anterior so ventral then if it is posterior to the duodenum anastomosis form aichna that is dorsal so inge moon level la vande anastomosis form aadu one upper anastomosis otherwise called as cranial anastomosis but anastomosis between the right and the left uterine veins are going to form anterior to the duodenum nala that is otherwise called as cranial ventral anastomosis next the lower second anastomosis once again between the right and the left cardinal, cardinal vein around the duodenum that is otherwise called as caudal ventral anastomosis then in the middle region here the anastomosis is going to posterior to the duodenum so it is otherwise called as middle dorsal anastomosis so on either side two limbs of vitelline veins and in between these two three anastomosis so the entire structure is now going to form a figure of eight formation and this figure of eight formation is the basic character which is going to give rise to the portal vein development so now what happened after some time what happened the right umbilical vein disappears and the left umbilical vein it is going to join with the left vitelline vein a little bit above the cranial ventral anastomosis then a little bit lower to the middle dorsal anastomosis there are two veins one is the splenic vein and another one is the superior mesenteric vein these two veins are now joining the left vitelline vein below the middle dorsal anastomosis once these veins are joining this left vitelline vein what happened this 
major portions of the left vital line and the right vital line veins are now going to disappear. So, here you will see the upper part of the left vital line vein above the middle dorsal anastomosis is going to disappear and the lower part of the left vital line vein below the joint portion of this splenic and the superior mesenteric vein also going to disappear and the lower portion of the right vital line vein below the middle dorsal anastomosis is also disappear. So, upper portion of the left vital line vein and the lower portion of the right vital line vein below the middle dorsal anastomosis is going to disappear and also some portions of the left vital line vein below the fusion of splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein disappear either. So, after disappearing of all these area the major structures which are persist are now going to develop the portal vein. So, portal vein la main and alarm patho, main trunk and owner can patho, right branch and owner can patho, left branch and owner can patho. Ipa main branch, main branch every develop path, abdin repak mode. The main branch is developed from the part of the left vital line vein above the splenic vein and the entire middle dorsal anastomosis and the part of the right vital line vein up to the cranial ventral anastomosis. This region is now going to form the main trunk. This is a tumor. So, the main trunk of the portal vein is going to form the part of the left vital line vein above the splenic vein and the entire middle dorsal anastomosis and the part of the right vital line vein up to the cranial ventral anastomosis is going to form the main trunk of the portal vein and the part of the right vital line vein above the cranial ventral anastomosis is now going to form the right branch of the portal vein. Then the entire cranial ventral anastomosis and also the part of the left vital line vein above the cranial ventral anastomosis is now going to form the left branch of the portal vein. Already nama path to the left umbilical vein it is connected with the left vital line vein at the level of cranial ventral anastomosis nu path once again enna vaichi nammoda left umbilical vein is now going to join with the left branch of the portal vein. So now the main trunk form aichi right branch form aichi left branch form aichi compared to right branch left branch is formed by major portion that is the entire cranial ventral anastomosis and also the part of the left vital line vein above the cranial ventral anastomosis is going to form the left branch in the left branch is longer than the right branch and also the left branch it receives the left umbilical vein contribution also. So, the left umbilical vein is also going to join the left branch of the portal vein this is the embryological basis. Then after its formation here the portal vein has to enter into the liver. So, actually on the heart under the it is in the thoracic cavity, duodenum under the it is in the abdominal cavity. Rende separate panneti in the middle arka kudiya structure enna in the embryonical life la septum transversum patho. In the septum transversum the part of the diaphragm develop up podu. Adhe nere in the septum transversum arka kudiya mesenchyme la yendu da yuva in the area la da now the liver bud is going to develop. So, the liver bud actually when it start to develop it forms lobules. So, on the each lobule ko entrana in the portal vein branches enna pannadhu they are divided into many branches or many capillaries as a vena adventis. Then from this capillaries adhukapra enna vaadhu venules the hepatic venules form panna arambikithu. So, branching ayatukka kudi in the portal capillaries ku peiru vena adventis and the capillaries end and the another set of capillaries form and hepatic veins form and the pair vene regentis. This is the MCQ point of view important. So, next in the liver form it. So, now suprahepatic portion in the hepatic veins form it. Once hepatic veins form and the the vitaline veins are going to enter into the sinus venosus. That is how the inferior vena cava form and help. We have vena cava formation or development of vena cava system. Now, we have a portal vein system form. We have to know what we have to do. First, 
three points la first point is figure of eight formation figure of eight formation rathu enga varudhu at the lower part of the vitelline vein around the duodenum three anastomoses two ventral anastomoses and one dorsal anastomoses and the two ventral anastomoses rathu one is the cranial ventral anastomosis and the another one is the caudal ventral anastomosis that is both are ventral to the duodenum then the dorsal anastomosis nadi in the middle region so middle dorsal anastomosis so this figure of eight formation is the basic structure after that second step enna adu splenic venu superior mesenteric venu middle dorsal anastomosis ku konja keela they will unite once they drain into this left vitelline vein below the middle dorsal anastomosis vandone major portions vandu disappear aayirudhu mature irukka kudiya portion la which is, which is going to form the main trunk and which is going to form the right branch and which is going to form the left branch idu therinjikittomna each and everything is a two mark question and mcq and reasoning outline this is the important thing you have to know that's all